go to bed, little buddy. Well, my, I asked my dad. He was here. Um, he was a police officer for 20 years, sure. right? And I asked him, could you be a cop today? This, this is something my father, that was his like his calling in life. He found his niche, and he was a good cop, a damn good cop. And he said, no. I, I could not consider that. That's, that's a crazy acknowledgement. Yeah! Defunding push of police. No, you need to educate these guys on pro- proper tactics. There's used to, there should be a uniform way <clears throat> to to use all forces of the use of force model, from the very top of lethal force all the way down to the conversation, your initial contact, your verbal judo. Every yeah, everything needs to be trained out, and it needs to be trained extremely well. Because you're dealing with people's lives and liberties and freedoms. Yeah, you can't f that up on either side. Like you, you got you got Absolutely. it. You are a professional, and yeah. instead of taking money away, you're only going to create worse police. Oh, dude, right? Not only that, but no one's going to want to be a police officer. Why would you want to be a police officer nowadays? No, I Why would you? I wouldn't at all. I asked my dad that, and so the question becomes: Okay, so you see this progression, and it leads to a very chaotic. I don't know what we got beeping, but something's a beeping. It's out of batteries. Go to bed, little buddy. Well, my, I asked my dad. He was here. Um, he was a police officer for 20 years, sure. right? And I asked him, could you be a cop today? This, this is something my father, that was his like his calling in life. He found his niche, and he was a good cop, a damn good cop. And he said, no, I, I could not consider that. That's, that's a crazy acknowledgement. The bad guy hates you. The citizen yeah. hates you. Yeah. Your force hates you. The government hates you. Everybody hates you. Got why it. the effing <laughs> f would you ever yeah why would you put yourself in like these cops have to go out and put themselves in you harm's would, way here's the answer protect themselves you wouldn't yeah you, you won't wouldn't. yeah you wouldn't. and you won't have a police force and you'll have an increase in crime not because there already you took is. the guns off the streets there already is man it's because you, you took it? the good guys off the street to yeah. fight the bad guy bad will always exist Immorality will always exist. But they're also disengaging. Like, there's cops who won't engage with certain subjects because they don't want to have their whole lives ruined. They need to find another job. That's true. Because, in my opinion, if you are a police officer, you don't get the option to not intervene and protect the lives of the innocent. I think that's a calling that goes beyond the badge. True. But what if you do the right thing and you still get hemmed up? Look at Darren, Darren, uh, Officer Darren and... Um, with Michael Brown. Right. So Darren Wilson. So you need to find a new job. No, I mean, do you want to be Darren Wilson? Have your whole life ruined? Have be half 13% of the pop, of the population's worst enemy? I'm talking about black people. Black people hate Darren Wilson. Who's Darren Wilson? Darren Wilson's the guy who shot Michael Brown after he was attacked by him. And uh he was one uh, oh, stop don't right. shoot. Don't shoot. Yeah. yeah. Uh he, Michael Brown tried to take his weapon. He punched him and he Defending right. himself. So th- there's <laughs> there are other other there are other driving forces that would say don't be a cop. Like, oh yeah, right. There's so there's so much. You're probably especially if you're the white male cop. You're the most hated man in America right now. And that's a bad place to be. Yeah, like, no kidding. The, imagine the anxiety, especially if you work in a big city like Houston, Dallas, Austin, Fort Worth, Seattle, Detroit, Chicago, Portland, New York, New cops. Jersey, Pennsylvania. Like we could go on and on and on. Anywhere in you're going to work every day like you dude who goes to work without the only thing i think about when i work is i'm doing it because i got so many mouths to feed oh, right. like this is just the way to do that like it's my perpetual servitude it's my exchange <laughs> of whatever for money so that i could feed these, these empty hooligans. bottomless pits of yeah, people right, right? So, like, being a police officer is no different yet. Yeah, there are those that are a calling. There are those that, that, that I love the adrenaline. I love making a difference. I, you know, fight the bad guy, protect the good guy, whatever the case may be. Whatever your driving force is, it's still a job that you're going to every day. And all you really want to do is get home alive and love on your kids, love on your family. I think some people, though, found a sense of meaning and purpose where they felt like they're doing a lot of good because they're protecting and helping a lot of people. I don't know. Like I've saved any, people's lives. <laughs> honestly, I don't know of any other reason to be in law enforcement. Yeah, right. Outside of that, because it, it was, it was, dude, it was a hard transition to not do that anymore when I got out. Well, you know what, you know what that is. We kind of still do it. Yeah. Right. Like every time I leave my house, I leave my house prepared for any encounter. 
I'm, I, I, it's always in the back of my head in any environment. I'm assessing the threat. I'm looking and I'm observing. I want to know my routes of exit. I want to know who I've got to protect. I want to know who's in my charge. I need to...